Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to show you a, a more complicated uh, differentiations of trigonometry ratios. Okay, let's see to the example. So the problem will be y equal to cos square root of sine tangent pi ask. Okay. So, do you remember? When you differentiate cos u, differentiate cos u, you will get minus sine u and the u by ds, right? So here, what is u? So here, u is this one, right? Square root of sine tangent by a. Here, is this u, right? Okay, let's see. So let's go. One, dy by the ask. Differentiate y with ask. So when you differentiate cos, you will got minus sine. When you differentiate u, you will got minus sine u. So when you differentiate this, you will got minus sine. u is here. I will put the brackets. Uh, square root of sine and then by s, right? And then du by ds. So u is here, right? So d by the ask u is square root of sine and then by s. Okay, so before I move uh to the another step, uh here you need to know this one is the same with sine and then by s the whole power one over two, right? Because square root is the same with one over two. Okay, so Let's go. So this one is the same. You don't need to do anything. Sine minus sine square root sine then again by s. Okay. So when you differentiate this one, do you remember this is the power, right? So if there is a power, you just need to put down the power. Okay. Put down the power and then what? Power negative one, right? To reduce the power one. Okay. One. Um, 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2, right? So you will get sine and then by s over minus 1 over 2. So it's only two step, right? There is one more step. So I will repeat again when you differentiate with the power for the first first time for the for the uh, first step, you just need to put down the power and then reduce the power one, and then the final step is to differentiate the base, right? Okay, I want to differentiate the base, d by ds, the base is here, right? Sine, and then by s. Okay, let's go. So this, uh, this will be the same, right? So minus sine square root sine, and then by s, Okay, I will move this one to the denominator. Okay, two, and then I will rewrite again. One over two, where we square root, right? So square root of sine tangent by s. Okay, and then for this one, is this again, right? This is like, this will be the same with sine u, right? Okay, this will be the u. So when you differentiate sine u, you will get cos u and then du by ds, right? Okay, let's go. So when you differentiate sine tangent by a, you will get cos tangent by a, right? And then differentiate u, right? u is here tangent by a. So differentiate du by ds tangent by s. Okay, so... I will rewrite this minus sine square root of sine tangent by s or sine tangent by s over 2 into square root of sine tangent by s. And then when you differentiate tangent, u. So here, by s. 
will be the same with u, right? So here is one u. So when you differentiate tangent u, you will get secant square u du by dh, right? So tangent will be secant square u is here pi u, pi s. So when you differentiate pi s, you will got only pi, right? Okay, this is where we did find the answer. Thank you. So you can also like rewrite to be like easier to read. You can also read, you can also put this number to the front. Okay, you will get like minus pi such square pi s cos tangent pi s and then finally sine square root of sine tangent pi s over 2 into 2 multiplies 2 times sine tangent tangent pi s. So this will be my final answer. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.